everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So as you guys can tell by the title, today I'm going to be testing out some products from Huda Beauty because we finally have them here in South Africa thanks to Ark Store Official. I have not been to the store yet, um, but I have purchased online and I did receive 15% off of my first purchase. I think that was for August. I'm not sure. But go onto the website and see what the vibe is. Believe it or not, this is actually my second time trying to film this video. The first time, I bought the shade in Glowish. I bought the shade 6 Medium Tan, which is my exact skin tone shade. Let me show you a picture of what it looks like on my skin. Um, and I just felt like on camera it was looking a bit grey. So I wanted to go in with a darker shade for on camera and for our wear test. Because I feel like you guys will be less harsh on me if I actually wear something that's gonna look good on camera. Um, this is the shade 710 Light and I think this is actually my really really good like perfect summer shade. I really really like these skin tints. Um, I fell in love with this um, 6 medium tan shade and now with us going from winter into spring it's gonna be a really good shade but my summer shade is definitely 710 Light and I would definitely repurchase this shade moving forward. Then the 6, I mean it still works perfectly on my skin but I'm a little bit fussy with how my skin tone looks so I would definitely say 7 is the shade my my all-time favorite shade that I love okay so I did pick up the multi dew skin tints I did pick up a little mini Huda powder this is in the shade blondie this is like six grams of product I think this is like 385 if I'm not mistaken if I'm then I also picked up the Tantor bronzer so this is in the shade medium this is the contour and bronzer cream so i really wanted to try the tantor um it looked really interesting and since she launched it i just i loved everything about the packaging everything about like the shade and stuff so i really wanted to try this out and then lastly i picked up two shades of the balm brow micro shade pencil um i initially picked up the shade seven and then i thought to myself hmm who is using the shades seven and eight so let me try use the shade 7 and 8. Because I think we pretty much are like maybe the same hair color. Like, I don't know. Is her hair as black as mine? I don't know. I don't know. But she's the closest thing we have in terms of the Indian community and in terms of anybody of Asian descent. She is the closest thing we have to representation. So I'm just going based off of her brow color and what color her brows are and hopefully we're going to make it work. But yeah, I have two shades. I have the shade 7 black brown and I have the shade 8 soft black. So I am usually a soft black kind of girl but um, I do appreciate the softer feather like brow type of situation so I think we're going to try that today. Without any further ado, let's get into this video. As you guys can see, I have hella dry lips right now. <laughs> which is not cute. So we're going to do some lip prep using some of my Shop Sinesh, um lip products. And we're first going to start off with my Slay Away Lip Scrub in Vanilla Vibes. This is what it looks like. And I really, really love this lip scrub. Like I said, you guys, it is edible. So I'll pick some up. Put on my lip. I think I put too much on my lip, so I had to eat some. You could do this over the sink. I just kind of put my hand under my chin to catch any sugar. I really like this because it's gentle. But it gets the job done, you know? I'm just going to use circular motions to do my lip scrub. Okay, now the nice thing about this lip scrub is that Okay, now the nice thing about this lip scrub is you can lick it off. It's completely edible. Now, I know this probably seems gross to you guys anyway, but I bite the skin off my lips all the time. So, it ain't a thing to me to lick my dead skin cells off my lips, okay? And then I'm just going to wipe off any excess sugar on the lips. Lips look like... A little plump after that exfoliation I love that it is not harsh at all it's quite gentle and then I'm gonna go in with my hydrating lip mask in cherry kiss and I'm just gonna moisturize my lips 
this also has like a little bit of like a glossy sheen to it and it's super hydrating okay so now that that is done we're gonna get right on to the face now first things first i was gonna go in with primer but i think i'm gonna do my eyebrows first um i'm just gonna kind of take off any moisturize or anything that i have on my brow and yeah we're going to fold these brows in so i really like the concept of the micro shade brow pencil this is what they look like these retail for 285 rand each. Now I know that is quite steep for a brow pencil, but I mean if you're going to be using it to fill in your sparse areas, I think it should last you a pretty decent amount of time. This is how tiny the actual pencil is. Do you see that? It is super tiny. It is 0 0.9, 0 0.9 millimeters thick guys 0.9 millimeters thick so i'm gonna do um a little bit of a technique that huda does where she starts off with i think she starts off with the darker shade and then she adds dimension to the brows so first things first i'm gonna start off with the shade number eight because this is the darker shade of the two this is what it looks like let me swatch it on the back of my hand for you It is. It's very, very thin. Hopefully you guys will be able to see it. Do you see it? Right there. Very, very thin. Hair like. Then I'm going to swatch the shade 7 so you guys can see what the color difference is. I mean, it's a, it's a slight color difference, but I think it really adds dimension to the brows. So the top is 8 and the bottom is 7. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, so let's start off with the shade 8. I trimmed my eyebrows this weekend because I find that if I leave my eyebrow hairs to be too long, it doesn't give me this really nice like natural um, effect to the brows. It kind of like, yeah, it doesn't give me that nice natural-esque brow look, you know what I'm saying? Or that micro-bladed brow look. So I really like this um, spoolie. I think it looks really, really nice. And it also feels really good when you're brushing your hairs through. So I'm going to start off in my sparse areas of my brow. Make sure to not open this brow pencil too much because it is a very delicate pencil. And I'm going to create hair-like strokes underneath the brow. Where I have a little bit of sparseness. Push my brows down. Because the top of my brows go downwards. And that's why I'm not too into the soap brow anymore. Because the top of my brows, like the hairs grow downwards. And to like get it to stand up and stick flat upwards is, it's a bit of a nightmare. So I'm going to just draw hair like strokes on the top. In the direction and then as I get to the tail just flicking those strokes outwards so that is already looking so nice just with that one shade um, let's move on to the next brow now I've only turned this up once but I keep thinking I need more product a little goes a long way I'm also using very light pressure to do this so it is going to last you a decent amount of time um, and I've only like turned it up once. It is still good enough so I'm not going to turn it up again until it's absolutely flat. I'm going to start with hair like strokes. Okay, so that's what the brows look like. Now we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of dimension to the brows and I'm gonna go in with the shade so this is the shade soft black now we're gonna go into seven black brown and I'm just gonna try and hit the areas in between those initial hair like strokes oh what you can do as well is just use it to build up where you need coverage like I usually need coverage right here by the arch 
And I just really love how that brow looks. Like, it looks so natural, so fluffy. And once you put brow gel on, it's just going to look so nice and separated. I really, really like this effect. So I would say if you are somebody like me and you have sparseness in your eyebrows and, you know, you kind of want to do that natural-esque microbladed effect, I would say this brow pencil is worth the investment for that. However, I would also say that if you need this pencil to fill in your full brow pencil, to fill in your full brow, it probably won't last too long because the nib is so thin. So I definitely feel like it is more for that feathery brow that I've created today. And I don't think I've used that much product, which honestly, I thought it was not going to last me very long because of the amount of product that there is in here and how thin the pencil is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just carve out under my brows. I'm using my Essence Concealer. This is the Camouflage MAC Concealer in the shade uh, 6 Golden Toffee. And I'm just using the applicator to clean up under my brow. Um, and I really like this pencil. I mean, it's a bit of space. Okay, honestly, 285 Rand times 2. Most brow pencils that are worth it, most brow products that are worth it, are plus minus 500 Rand. But all that matters is what the quality is, because I'm a quality girl. If it's quality, and I know it's going to last me a while, I will spend the coin. By the way, this is not sponsored by ARC. This is all my own money that I spent to do this video for you guys. So please do watch the ads, because it helps me a lot to generate some revenue so I can keep buying products to review for you guys. Doing YouTube is... A lot of people get demotivated because of how long it actually takes to generate an income from this, but you guys know I'm not doing this for any other purpose besides because it's fun and I love it and I want to add value to the brown girls out there because I cannot tell you how many brown girls have reached out to me to say that you are my perfect shade. I've been looking for somebody that's my perfect shade forever and you are my perfect shade and I never have to go looking too far to find something that I need for my skin tone. So that makes me so happy. Moving on to the glow tint. Um, I'm going to go in with the shade 710 light today. Um, I'm going to prep my skin with my Benefit Professional Hydrating Primer. I really, really enjoy this primer. So I'm just going to be using this my favorite I really like the original as well but that for winter um, that for summer would work great because I get really oily in summer I, so I do want to say that I have tried this glow tint out before and I am going to be honest with you guys in saying that all of this is still gonna end up peeking through the glow tint because it's like a skin tint it's not meant to be like a full coverage foundation it's literally like a multi dew skin tint so what I'm gonna do is just because I want to see we you know we want to see how this wears throughout the day and we want to give it a good shot but I'm not gonna be happy seeing my blemishes I'm gonna go in and spot conceal some of these areas so I'm gonna be using my Maybelline anti-age eraser concealer this is in the shade this is in the shade 11 tan and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to Lightly dab onto the areas that I have like a little bit of discoloration. It's mostly redness from my skin healing. I'm also going to do a little bit on the sides of my mouth. I am very finicky about like the pigmentation. Even though it's not that horrible on the sides of my mouth, I'm just very fussy. So, and I really like how beautiful this skin tint finish is. So we're going to make it work for us girls who you know, a little bit more full coverage. I'm gonna let it dry. While it's drying, I'm going to put a little bit of the skin tint on my forehead. And I'm still gonna carve out, well not carve out my brows, but I'm just gonna use the skin tint to hug my brow. Okay, so let's blend this out on my forehead. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques contour brush and just kind of lightly buff that into the skin and 
automatically you can see what a beautiful glow that leaves on the skin it's just like the most stunning finish and I think this finish really is what sold me on this skin tint it just looks so stunning it has like a whole bunch of like it seems like pearls and stuff in it and it looks so stunning I don't know how to describe like this pearlescent kind of sheen it has already you can see my forehead is looking quite bright it's looking fresh which I love let me just read you guys the um, what do you want to call it the instructions so it says wear alone for an all-over healthy glow apply to the center of the face and blend outward add to your favorite foundation to boost luminosity oh amazing so you can mix in with your foundation to give you like a boost of coverage and luminosity if you want the best of both worlds and then it also says glowish is a noun for the love child of Huda Beauty and Wishful where flawless finish intersects with skin caring ingredients for the ultimate glow up so this has a lot of skin care skin caring ingredients um, it's clean naturally derived ingredients vegan friendly not animal tested and the container is made with 25% post consumer recycled material 25% post consumer recycled material I love brands that are going the sustainable route and that are really just conscious about their products you know we love anything recyclable 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 okay so I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose I know Huda doesn't use too much and I found that you cannot apply this like foundation it is a very skin caring formula which means there's a lot of skin caring ingredients which means it will streak up if you put too much of product on that's why I'm using this like fluffy brush to kind of buff the product in otherwise it can get a bit streaky look at how beautiful the skin tint is it is so stunning it looks like literally my skin but better it's so beautiful and I really really love the fact that it is quite longer lasting than most of the like skin like looking products I have tried before oh guys look at how stunning this skin tint looks like I just love it even though like my imperfections are still showing through I really love how it just adds like a veil of glow and it makes your skin look so stunning and just absolutely obsessed with this product I think it is so beautiful I really really enjoy this Okay, so next we're going to go in with the Tantor. You actually turn it to open it. It comes with a lid as well because this product can dry out. I got the shade Medium, which is quite dark. So I think it's going to work really, really well for bronzing my skin. Um, I have tried this out once before in the previous video I tried to film. Also, I think this um, 7 light tan shade is literally my perfect shade bomb right matches my body slightly a bit tan tanner than my face but it's fine um, and yeah this bronzer is 505 Rand retails for 505 Rand so I'm just gonna start off with a little bit a little bit goes a long way with this bronzer you guys so be very very light-handed with it Oh, I did re-watch the Tanto video and Huda does say that it does have a little bit of it does take a little bit of time to dry up so you do have a little bit of time to finesse it and blend it until it sets which I think is nice also I didn't mention the glowish price but the glowish is 620 Rand for 40 ml of product so I mean, when you look at high-end, it pretty much is on par with a lot of high-end brands and the pricing that a lot of high-end brands will give you as well. 
I love the tan tour. Also, a little bit of product goes a long way. So even though this is like 505 Rand, this is gonna last you a really long time, I feel like. Um, because a little really does go such a long way. Like I literally just dipped a few bristles in here. And the pigmentation. Now, I do want to try out the Huda Full Filter New and Improved Formulation Foundation, but they don't have my shade in stock. Um, so once my shade becomes available, I will definitely, definitely film that video, honey. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with concealer. Um, I don't have the Huda concealer, so I'm just going to use my Catrice uh, True Skin Concealer because it is like quite a glowy um, concealer formula. It's a very hydrating formula as well. This is in the shade 046 Warm Toffee. And I'm just going to conceal under my eyes. Just do my usual highlighting routine. Down the bridge of my nose. Cupid's bow and chin. Just blend this out. Okay, so this is what the face looks like so far. You can see concealer just bumps up this skin tone to the next level because it really just, you know, adds more coverage where you need it. Um, next, I'm going to go in with this powder. This is in the shade Blondie, which is a yellow. And this is how it opens, which I think is so cool. But I am going to need to use a brush because I'm just very fussy. And the way the crevice under my eye is built, this powder puff ain't going to fit there. Okay. So I'm just going to pick this up and just dust my under eyes and the center of my face. Also, this powder smells amazing you guys so this is like a proper banana powder as you guys can see um if i was going for like a lighter powder so i don't mind this shade at all but if i was going lighter i would totally get the shade banana but this is good for my skin tone shade if you are in c 44.5 this is really really nice and then I'm just taking this down the center of my face where I usually sit because we want to give the skin tint a good chance because I'm an oily girl okay also just taking a little bit on my cheeks okay so I think that's a good amount of powder I'm not necessarily gonna bake or anything because I do want the skin to look glowy throughout the day um i'm gonna add a little bit of benefits platent onto my cheeks i really love benefit by the way benefit is also available at arc store which i think is bomb because now it's all the brands that you love under one apparently mac and stuff is also available at arc store which is really fun 1256 if my phone can focus there we go it is 1256 i think i've had this foundation on right now for maybe about 15 20 minutes um but yeah well not foundation the skin tint overall i really like it i really like how beautiful it looks on the skin i want to show you guys what it looks like when my natural oils kind of peek through i will go in and just highlight my face just a little bit um but yeah I'll be back to show you guys what the finished face looks like. Okay, everyone. So the time right now is 18.37. So we've had the skin tint on now for around six hours. And this is what the face looks like. It was a little bit of a cold day today. So, I mean, my oils have come through, but it's nothing too crazy. Um, I think it lasted pretty well. I did have to put on a mask to leave the house to go get something. Um, so there was a little bit of tint that did transfer 
but I mean if you set your jawline you should be fine other than that I think it lasted pretty well I think it looks really good it did settle into my smile lines but like anything skincare will do that um, because it has skincare ingredients it does tend to like be a very liquidy formula so it does tend to crease into your smile lines other than that I really like it you guys I like everything else I like the brows look at my brows being snatched though Look at my brows being snatched though. I love it. I love everything so far. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think I should try next in the next Huda Beauty try on video. Um, I have seen the palettes that she has. Um, I do really enjoy her liquid lips. But comment down below. Let me know what are some of your favorites. And maybe I'll be trying them out in the next video. Also, don't forget to watch all the ads. Because if you watch the ads i can buy, i can buy more huda for the next video thank you i love you guys so much don't forget to stay all day every day without makeup and i'll talk to you guys in the next one Bye bye